What's up my keto friends? You know who you are. Today we're at Sam's. We're doing another installment of Keto or Kino, where I stump Susan. No, I'm just kidding. She's going to get me all the time. So we're going to go into Sam's today in the next the installment wind. of Keto or Kino. And my hair is outrageous. <laughs> we're doing another installment oh of God. your hair or not. Okay, and look at my shirt. Byron's going to post a picture and show the picture of this shirt. Wait, maybe you should step back a scotch. But, get, the, get the full the full ensemble. I have to stand up. The I mean, full ensemble of this shirt. So this shirt, yes, I've had it since 2011. Probably actually before that. It's 2020 now. Is that how you say it? 2020? Yeah, 2020. It's 2020 now. And I had this, although I probably don't look like I do keto, I've lost quite a bit of weight. But I was going to put a picture showing how much weight actually I lost doing this amazing keto lifestyle. Oh, another th update for me. I think last time uh, I actually said my weight was 57 pounds. I'm actually 61 pounds down total loss. So update for that. Yeah, I'm still at 47. I've been eating keto, but I've been eating too much keto. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. Why don't we roll the intro? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with these Think Bars because I know you know about these pretty much, but you don't probably know about these. So, Keto or Kino for the Think Bars. Think Bars? Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's see, it's got 20 grams protein, zero sugar, gluten-free. I'm gonna go keto. Okay. So let's look at the let's look at the ingredients. Well, first let's look at the carbohydrates. We got 23 grams of carbs. That in itself is pretty bad. Um, we have sugar alcohol, 10 grams, 11 grams. Okay, these are the two different kinds of bars. We have um, Malatol. Ding, 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 ding. That's the oh, first thing. What? Yeah. Um, we have tapioca starch. Uh, those are just a couple of things that I am going to say this is a big fat key no. Because even if you take away. I mean, like. It and I went one, selfie mode by accident. Uh, it has one so. gram, one gram of uh, fiber. So even if you take away the sugar alcohol, which I wouldn't because it's malitol and malitol is going to affect your blood um, sugar, um, it would still be between 10 and 11 grams of carbs for one bar. So, so Kino. Kino. All right. So lost that you one. Lose. Okay. So Quest bars. What is it? Uh, well, since we eat these, I'm going to have to say Keto. However, it's not clean yeah it's because not because it's packaged and i'm not gonna pretend like it is because they're they've got stuff in it like for instance um so this is kino yeah this is this is well this is dirt this is kind of kind of because we're gonna it's got soluble corn fiber um palm kernel oil sunflower lectin i mean you know but it's got um 21 grams of carbs 15 grams of fiber um and two grams of erythritol so you're looking at four grams of carbs per bar so not bad but see it has right here four grams of net carbs on both of these so both of those are keto we eat them it's keto dirty keto it's dirty like keto when why is that because it um, has less some, than 20 but it also has stuff in it that's not good for your body so it depends there again on your particular lifestyle and what you want to do um, for us we do it what are you gonna say carb balance um, it says flour on it so I'm going keto okay but it also Already. says four grams of net carbs per oh. It's high in fiber, four grams. Well, I guess it's keto then, because you're less than. Okay, less well, let's than talk 20. about it. You're less than 20. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> it has um, modified wheat starch, enriched flour, wheat flour. Um, it, it's got 19 grams of carbs, 15 Nine. grams. Of, oh. 
but it's got 15 grams of dietary fiber. So you subtract that, so that's four grams of fiber. Um, so you're, I mean, four grams of carbs. So that's where they get the four net carbs. But it, it does have stuff in here that I just don't want to put in my body. Like what? Like the flour and cellulose, sucralose. And look, the um, Quest Bars, they have um, trace amounts of cellulose in it. But I personally, it's, it's, you know, it's whatever. I just don't, I don't think I'm going to eat these because I think if I'm going to eat, if I'm going to eat one of these, it's probably something I'm going to eat, overeat. So, um, can you have this on a keto diet? Sure, absolutely. We don't do it. Because of the flour. Because of the flour. Yeah. It's not good for your gut and junk like that. So, we stay away from it. So, this one. Prego traditional Italian sauce. I'm gonna go um, since since I grew up on Prego, I'm gonna go key no because that's probably everybody grew up on Prego, and with this standard American diet, that's probably what your mom put in your dang pasta. <laughs> so okay, key let's, no. Let's look at it. Ding ding ding! I think you got it. Okay, so we have sugar dun 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 canola oil dun 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 which in, which in itself I, th I don't think canola oil is something that people consider non-keto but if you're just wanting to you know put more healthy things in your body don't get stuff that says canola oil avocado oil olive oil because it's just better for your body no oil and I'm freaking out right now because I'm not good at this, like doing this on the DL because there's a lot of like workers and people and so I'm like freaking out. Are all spaghetti sauces created equal? Uh, no, I would say no. And this is Classico? Mm-hmm. That looks delicious. Okay. I'm gonna go keto. Okay, bud. Oh my gosh, you might be getting somewhere. Um, this one, tomato puree, there's no sugar, it's just straight ingredients. I wish I knew how they got these, these focuses. Anyway. It's just straight, they'll probably no. like this and then... <laughs> I see them go in like this and it's like... It, it's probably, um, well this is just like straight ingredients. There's no, stupid, I can't get there's no added, um, oil or no added oil, sugar no in this. Sugar. Oh, I forgot to do the, the calories on the other one. This one has 60 calories for a half a cup. It's got <clears throat> eight grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. So you're looking at six grams of carbs for half a cup. Nice. And I forgot to do that on the other one. Let me do that real quick. This one, we have 13 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. So you're looking at 11 grams of carbs for half a cup. So, six grams of carbs for half a cup or 11 grams of carbs for half a cup? Wow. You do the math. Okay, and so, because Sam's doesn't have in our area a whole lot of keto uh, uh, foods, um, we're gonna do this. What? This is tuna, tuna, albacore. I think this is actually, oh, Member's Mart. This is Sam's brand. And this is bumblebee tuna. Okay, you're not gonna trick me with this. This is tuna, which means it's protein which and it's fish you can't go wrong so they're both keto okay there's no I mean, and, how can you screw and you know what up? i'm gonna agree with you they are both keto but let me just show you the difference on this one um it has where are we looking where are the ingredients hold on uh, here white tuna white sea salt contains tuna okay so what do you have tuna water sea salt i said white sea salt <laughs> oh my god is that a thing it's like all weird yeah sure why not okay so um that's it water okay and but let's look at this one this right here it has where's the ingredients oh wait maybe it's on a different side du, du, du. and it says in water too oh here it is okay so we've got light tuna water vegetable broth sea salt and it says contains tuna and soy. So why? Soy. Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't say anything. It just says chunk white tuna and water. And you said soy causes man boobs. <laughs> right, it video. causes men's estrogen to go up. So, so why do you no, why do you want soy? So just it's just if you want to eat clean. No, why do they put soy in it? I don't know. Both of these are keto, sure, but why add something? 
that doesn't offer really any nutritional value. But why do they put soy in it? I don't know. <laughs> Is the camera fall? I can't. Am I in the camera? Sure, why not? Oh, no. It's, okay, there you go. It looks like it's not focusing on me. Well, I wanted to get in the shot, too. We're it in Sam's. Like you. We're in Sam's. I wanted to get in the shot, too. I'm usually running behind the camera. You're such a baby. I want to get in the shot, too. Okay, let's find something else. Find something else. What else is there in Sam's? Mmm, peanut butter. Reese's. Okay, so what? Oh. Well, I mean. Peanut it, butter. I mean, it's Come peanut on. butter. Um, I already know this because I've been around. Uh, Me. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go Jeff is key to know. Uh, just because of the way it's, uh, and you can't hear me on camera, so this is stupid. Um, natural. This is natural peanut butter, so I'm gonna go keto on that one. Keto. Okay, let's 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 look it at this. It says natural. Okay, let's look at Jif. Yeah, we know Jif. Um, it has. Yeah, everybody grew up with it. Roasted peanuts and dun 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 sugar. Not only that, fully hydrogenated vegetable oils. Hydrogenated. Mm-hmm. Oh. Rapeseed and soybean. Mono and diglyceride salt. I don't even know it. Well, why can't you just use regular salt? What? But it is non GMO and gluten free. Okay, so that's what they're selling you? Yeah, it's like, ooh, it's look, non it's non GMO and gluten free. That's going to be good GMO for you. Is. Government uh, mandated operated? Uh, no, that's um, GMO. Isn't that the. I don't know. Anyway. Um, okay, so natural, no stir, creamy peanut butter. Um, I think it's the same as far as the carbs go. Yep, exactly the same as far as the carbs go. Um, the only difference, this, yeah, looks great on the outside, but it has um, roasted peanuts, sugar, and palm oil and sea salt. Mm. So it's got sugar in it, and it's also got palm oil, which I don't know all the so ends of it. So how do you think, why? Is it set, why was it why we got natural on the the, the package? What um, makes it natural? Because it's so somebody grew a peanut in the ground. Mm, we don't know, but the, but the it does say line, on the front at least it's sea salt and cane sugar. Yeah, cane sugar and sea salt. So, um, yeah. So you got to pay attention to package the, the way they package stuff. Like they're saying this here, non-GMO and gluten free. Like that's a plus. I need to buy that. No, it's hydrogenated oil stuff. Getting passionate. <laughs> this is what I was. You need right you here. need to research on what hydrogenated oil is and how they make this stuff with hydrogenated oil. I'm not going to get into it, but look it up on Google. This is what I would choose right here: creamy almond butter. It's members mark. It's dry roasted almonds, salt. That's it. Oh, see, that's pretty simple. All right, guys. So as you know, we're in Sam's today. We're doing a uh, Sam's keto or kino. As we're walking around, we're trying to find stuff. Hey, what? looks like keto what's not keto what so and we're all and i told you before about the about the peanut butter packaging people package stuff to try to trick folks okay look at this we ran across this we were like what the heck protein we gotta, crisp we yes. gotta check this out because it says pop corners flex grain free so that's like okay no grains already that's keto right energy pack protein crisp barbecue 90 calories per serving plant-based protein well you're like well that's good plant right oh so i get it i'm like i'm getting these mm -hmm. i turn around of course i'm holding the camera so i can't shoot down but ingredients first ingredient is soy protein susan's already told you guys <laughs> soy causes man boobs oh who God. wants that estrogen in your body of course all men have estrogen but you don't want to increase it because you'll have that what's then the i next, need more soy what's the next uh ingredient tapioca don't know what that is, but it sounds like something you'd put on a piece of bread. Um, soy fiber. There's more soy. The one thing Casanova. is... Casanova. What? Cassava. Casa what? The one thing is... The Casa okay, tropical seasoning sugar. What? Sea salt, vinegar, maltodextrin. <laughs> maltodextrin. You're already out the door, dude. So, this is going to be a Kino, and I'm not buying it. Although... I was going to because of the packaging. Unless you read what you're gonna buy, you're gonna be in trouble, folks. I'm telling you. Yep. Okay, so Byron, we've got 
beef meatballs, Italian style, and home style meatballs. So, what's your question? I mean, what's your answer? Keto? Both of these meatballs. It's It's meat. Meat's keto, right? Okay, except for this is not just meat. We're looking at ingredients. We got soy protein. Soy again with the man boobs. Bread crumbs. Um, wheat flour, soy protein, dextrose. Dextrose, that's a bad word, right? This is the main, look, maltodextrin. So look at this, look, oh, sorry, meatballs, and look at this list of ingredients. Look at okay, that long so, list. So, like, if I went over to Look, wait a minute. And also, it's got, for four meatballs, you're looking at seven grams of carbs for four flipping meatballs. Who's going to eat four meatballs? Uh, me. I'm going to eat a whole of them. I mean, gravy. okay, same thing. This one, there's no, it's, that one's Italian style. This one, at, at least you can have six meatballs for, oh my gosh, six meatballs for um, seven grams of carbs because you subtract the dietary fiber. Yeah. It's got the same thing. It's got, oh, it's got pork in it too. Nice. Wait a minute. Dextrose, soy protein, breadcrumbs, wheat flour. Soy again with the man boobs. Maltodextrin. Can you stop saying man boobs? Oh, sorry. Soybean oil. So, I mean, can you eat this if you want to? But, I mean, you can eat anything on a ketogenic diet, I believe. You can eat anything um, as long as you portion control. Like, I mean, could you eat flour? Sure, you can eat flour as long as you eat like half of a piece of bread or something like that. So, if you, you know, it's about keeping it within your macros, but for you want to eat healthy, you don't want to eat garbage. Don't put garbage in your body. Okay, so keto or keto? Uh, let's go mesquite grilled chicken, grilled chicken breast. And, oh, that's sweet keto. Well, I don't know about mesquite. I'm gonna go keto and mesquite because I don't know what they can do. Okay. This one here probably gets right. Well, for three ounces, you've got less than one gram of what? Of carbs. Oh, okay. So we're good. Doctor, so that means you didn't get it right because you said it was keto. Oh, Ooh. no, I said keto because I don't know what kind of stuff they put on the Well, skin. see, that's the thing. You, you've you got um, your soybean oil, your favorite. Soybean. We got modified food starch. We have dextrose. And we got maltodextrin. Again with the maltodextrin. Yeah. Where's the maltodextrin I saw earlier? Uh, it's here. Right there. Okay. So, and let's look at this one. This is grilled chicken breast tenderloins. Looks pretty much just like regular chicken. All right, we've got caramelized sugar. Why? I don't know. Because That's what I'm saying. Corn, corn starch. It's not less than a gram of carbs, so can you eat it on keto? Absolutely. Um, is it? Do you it, want to put stuff in your body? Um, I'm thinking I, I don't. I would just rather get regular chicken and do my own seasoning, my own mesquite flavor. No sugar. Uh, we just finished our uh, keto or keto. Uh, a lot of things in there, not worth buying, dude. Even though from the packaging it looks like, hey, I can get, I can get away with this because it's low carbs, it's meat. But what, what are they making this stuff? Why are they putting maltodextrin in everything? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe we should call this my keto friends and people that want to eat clean. Well, I guess cl yeah, clean. I just That's like it. clean eating. I just like clean. Yeah, like, like for instance, the the tortilla. Tortilla? Yeah, I like saying the lilla on that. Uh, those shells, I mean, low carbs, but you're eating wheat flour. And Question is, do you want to eat wheat flour anymore? I don't because uh, it caused inflammation in my body, well, specifically around my gut. And we're not judging anybody that wants to eat like that. If you want to eat like that, that's fine. We're just telling my keto friends, our keto friends, what um, we do on our journey. Yeah, what and, we do. And anything that we can say that can maybe help you because if you're gonna eat uh, wheat flour, that's gonna cause you to have inflammation in your body and it could cause weight gain because of the fact some people are allergic to carbs. I know that I feel like I am because even when I eat healthy carbs, like quinoa and things of that nature, I still didn't lose weight. We still blow up. Even though I was not eating a lot of calories, I still didn't lose weight. Yeah, so we're not we're not saying, hey, don't eat that. Just, we're not saying that. We're saying this is what we eat. And by the way, you may not know that meatballs 
had that crap in it. You, hmm. you may just pick it up because, hey, there's some meatballs. I'm cooking these in barbecue sauce, whatever. You may have not read the package. We just read it for you. You're welcome. Ha, ha, ha.